Hello guys, so I would like us to look at uh, how to differentiate this particular function here, given that y is equal to lin. In the numerator, we have cos x minus sine x over cos x plus sine x in the denominator. So uh, we need to show that the derivative is equal to this. So um, how do we differentiate a logarithmic function? Now that's where we start with. So in the solution, recall, if you have ln f of x as your y, then dy dx is given by f of x on the denominator and f prime of x in the numerator. This is how we go about differentiating a logarithmic function. So for our case here, we're going to have the whole function here, all this that is inside the bracket, we're going to have it onto the denominator. And then we are going to have the f prime of x onto the numerator. So uh, what I want to do is first of all, just write our f of x down here so that we are able to, so our f of x, this is going to be the value in the denominator is cos x minus sine x, all this divided by cos x plus sine x. So this is going to be our denominator value. And then the numerator value will be f prime of x, and how do we get f prime of x? We differentiate this function. So let this be u, let this be v. We're going to use the quotient rule. u prime v minus v prime u, all this divided by v squared. So what is our u prime? If you come and differentiate cos x minus sine x, derivative of cos x is minus sine x. Minus derivative of sine x is cos x. So all this is just my u prime. Multiply it with v my v is cos x plus sine x minus v prime. So differentiate this, differentiating cos x, we have minus sine x plus differentiating sine x, we have cos x. All this multiplied with u and my u is cos x minus sine x. All this divided by v squared. And this is my V here, which is cos X plus sine X. And then we have it squared. So the whole of this value here is my F prime of X. And remember the derivative is given by F prime of X over F of X. So I want to simplify whatever we've gotten here. So this is going to give us now, um, let's see. If we decide to open this bracket here, this and this will give us. So let's have it from the edge so that we are able to like write everything nicely. So this is going to give us, take minus sine x, use it to open this bracket. So we'll have minus sine x cos x. Take minus sine x, uh, use it to multiply this other side. So we'll have minus sine squared x. So minus sine squared x. Take minus cos x, use it to multiply this bracket. We'll have minus cos squared x. Take minus cos x, use it to multiply here. We'll have minus I want to write it as minus sine x cos x. Writing it as minus cos x sine x is still the same, but I just want it to look like this. Multiplication is commutative. So if you have two times three, it's just the same as you having three times two. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's proceed. Then we have a minus here. So I'm going to represent this minus here, then put in a bracket, then multiply this two. Multiply this bracket and this bracket. So I'll take minus sine x, use it to multiply this, and that will give me minus sine x cos x. Then use it to multiply this, I will have positive sine squared x. Take minus sine x again, use it, to, sorry, take uh, plus cos x, use it to multiply this. That will be plus cos squared x. And then use it to multiply this other side, that will be minus sine x cos x. Remember, all this is divided by our v squared, which is cos x plus sine x squared. Okay, let's simplify whatever we have. So um, without opening this bracket, as you can see, this is minus sine x cos x, and this is minus. So eventually this is going to give you a plus. So this is going to be minus sine x cos x, uh, this is minus sine squared x minus cos squared x minus sine x cos x. This is plus sine x cos x and minus sine squared x minus cos squared x. 
plus sine x cos x. All this divided by cos x plus sine x squared. So let's look at like terms. This is minus sine x cos x. Is there a positive here? This and this will cancel out. I have minus sine squared x. Is there a positive sine squared x? So let's see. I don't see a positive sine squared x. I just see a minus. So this is minus sine x cos x and there's a positive. So this and this will go. So what am I left with? So this is going to give me minus sine squared x. Actually, I have minus 2 sine squared x because of this and this. And then minus cos squared x, I also have minus 2 cos squared x. All this divided by cos x plus sine x squared. Factoring out the minus and 2, we will have sine squared x plus cos squared x. All this divided by cos x plus sine x squared. So from the identities, the whole of this will give us a one. So this is basically one over cos x plus sine x squared. Now remember, this is f prime of x value. And we said that in order for us to differentiate the logarithmic function to get our dy dx, we needed f of f prime of x in the numerator and then f of x. So this is what we are going to have. Our f prime of x, which is this, 1 over cos x plus sine x. It's actually not 1, it's minus 2 because of this here. So minus 2 over cos x sine x squared divided by fx. And what, of our, what was our fx? Let's just go up and check. Our fx, uh, as you can clearly see, was cos x minus sine x was cos x minus sine x over cos x plus sine x. So this is the same as minus 2 over cos x plus sine x squared multiplied by, instead of the division sign, we're going to take the reciprocal. So that will be cos x plus sine x. All this divided by cos x minus sine x. So this and this are the same. So cancel this out, then you'll have minus one there. So this will give us minus two over. So here we have cos x plus sine x, and then cos x minus sine x. So this is a difference of two squares. When we multiply whatever we have in the denominator, we will get cos squared x minus sine squared x. So this gives us minus 2 over cos squared x minus sine squared x is an identity in the SMP. You can check it out. It is equal to, you can check that out in the, um, in the SMP. It is equal to cos 2x. So this will give us minus 2 into, let's write this as 1 over cos 2x. We all know that 1 over cos is sec. So this is minus 2. 1 over cos 2x will be sec 2x. Now let's go back to the question. You are told to show that this is equal to minus 2 sec 2x. And we've been able to show that. So that's how we go about, that's how we go about this question.